All right, man, from the world headquarters of PrestonFlat.com, I welcome you to today's video. Today's video is about when someone hurts your feelings. Of course, you're going to get the common answer from people that says, well, it's not possible for someone else to hurt your feelings, you know. <laughs> Uh, you know, unless you like give your power over to them, right? And you deliver yourself up before them and then just let them decide your fate, you know? I think I'll treat them mean today or I think I'll treat them good. <laughs> um, but I'm going to teach you this thing, uh, this way of finding balance in the midst of a changing world that is really great for this type of thing. It's an actual exercise called How to Mystically Surf or Skateboard Without a Board. And it's the exact thing that monks and mystics, people that sit in caves and meditate, people that are on top of mountains and completely unchanged, man, they just, they don't even care what's going on. They're just all together and good. And this is how it works. First of all, Step one is to realize that you are in the midst of a changing world. From where you sit, the world always around you, it's always uh, changing. And it literally parades up before you, before the place that you are, in ever new ways, in ways that have never, ever happened from the beginning of time. And it's possible in the midst of these changes to use the frame of the human body to set up the equivalent of an old-fashioned scale, a mystical scale or mystical yoke, and to literally surf the place between left and right, the place, the steady place, and to abide and to hold to this place in the midst of life's changes. And... Um, and that includes in a situation where in the past you might have thought, well, I hope that person doesn't hurt me or that person, I hope that person doesn't hurt my feelings, you know, or something like that. So this is how to not have your feelings hurt, but it has nothing to do with using the mind to figure stuff out. Like, I'm just going to figure it out. That'll be my answer. No, man, the mind is peaceful and steady for this entire thing. So what it is, first I'm going to teach you the basics of it. So you're sitting there, right? As you sit there, you'll probably be able to feel the, the place where the sitting bones, those two bones that you sit, one on the left, one on the right, the place where they meet the chair. And so as you sit there, there's, even if you wanted to feel both sitting bones evenly, you would not be able to do it, probably. Because what happens is there's this thing uh, called aversion and affinity. And I'll keep it simple, but what it means is you lean away from things you don't like, right? And you lean toward things you do like. So it could be just one thing that appears and then you lean toward it like an ice cream cone. <laughs> you know, or uh, something that you lean away from, like a loud noise or something. But what happens, though, man, is accumulatively all of life is filing up before you and parading up, and accumulatively, even if you don't know or understand all of it, it still has its, like, net result in that from the place that you are, you'll tend to lean one way or another. And so I'm going to introduce this way that I've been able to use to solve this thing of this concept of if people are hurting your feelings, you know, what do you do? What's the answer for it? And uh, I will explain how it works in this video. So you start out by, by sitting here and this is literally the sport of how to mystically surf or skateboard without a board. You use the frame of the human body to set up the equivalent of an old-fashioned scale. And then the sport is simply 
not to lean, no matter how the world presents itself around you. And uh, so just try this with me, right? You're sitting there feeling both sitting bones. Are you able to feel them evenly? I'll show you how to correct it so that you can feel them somewhat evenly. So as I sit here now, I'm feeling one side more than the other. But if I lean a little bit this way, now I can feel them both even. So you can literally, you can literally lean to find the place between opposites and to surf that. Or you can start, this is the other way, you can simply move your mind. So you're sitting here feeling both of them evenly. And now just put your mind on the left one. You'll notice that when you put your mind on that one, you'll feel it more, even without leaning. You put your mind on the right one, you f you'll feel that more. So you can, you can adjust or adapt the posture and you can move your mind in such a way to simply uh, hold to and abide in this place of balance, a balanced, steady, peaceful place. In the, in the midst of the presentations of life. So you practice in this way, and what happens? Well, the world around you is moving and changing. That includes uh, people that, you, you know, in situations, maybe, maybe there would be a situation where in the past you would think that person, that person hurt me or something, right? So what do you do? With this way, you don't have to figure anything out at all. You just start out as balanced, and you just surf and abide as a sport, as the sport of life. You surf and abide in this place between left and right. And that person will appear on the horizon probably, maybe as just a little dot in the distance. And, as, and they'll get bigger and bigger, and as they do, you simply do this technique, I'm telling you, man. You simply surf the place between opposites. They get bigger and bigger, and they arrive on the scene. And when they arrive here, because you've surfed this place of balance, you are, right in, the, in their presence, you are still balanced and steady and all good to go. And that person, you know, when you say somebody hurt, you know, they hurt you or something, I mean, how, hurt your feelings, that's what we're dealing with, they hurt your feelings. Well, there was a, there was a moment before they hurt your feelings, wasn't there? It might be before they arrived, it might be before they said something or did something or failed to do something. <laughs> But there was a minute, be there was a point of time before that happened, right? And that point is the point that you can surf. And then from that steady place, as the situation of life changes around you, the modification of circumstances, you can still surf and hold to the balance point. So what that means is you're basically like a, like a cowboy on a bucking bronco, you know, or like on a bull, <laughs> like a bull rider. I mean, there are those that as soon as they touch the bull, essentially they just go flying. <laughs> but if you can set up the equivalent of a scale in this way, you can surf the balance point comfortably and easily through all these various changes. Th uh, when they first begin, Throughout, you know, all the whether they say something or do something, you're still surfing it. That means you're still all together. You still have your feet underneath you. You're still all together and feeling good. And eventually they'll finish doing what they're going to do. And you still surf and practice balance through the whole thing. So what you'll find is that whether they show up on the scene or not, you found a way to practice that is always all together and good to go. And so that's, that's how to practice it. And 
the it's a way to be steady in all times and in all places and the main consideration i would say in this whole concept of can someone else even hurt your feelings right they can only hurt your feelings if you deliver yourself to them <laughs> basically belly up like a dog on the ground <laughs> you just deliver yourself to them for them to do what they're going to do you know just do to me what you will and then if you decide to like me or not like me treat me good or not treat me good it's all for you to decide <laughs> But this way of practicing is different than that because you start as balanced and you never launch yourself on tiptoe or lose your balance forward or deliver yourself up in front of anybody for them according to their whims, according to their decisions, their imbalances, whatever, for them to just toss you around and do what they want to do. You know, there is a point before you launch yourself forward and deliver yourself up to them when you are all together. So you know that feeling. You know that feeling before they even arrive, right? That's the place that you, uh, you start at. And then, I mean, it's easy to say, well, just keep balanced, you know? But the thing is, man, life is so changing and so fickle that you can't, you can't really, I don't think it's really possible to do it. Life just changes too fast unless you know how to use the frame of the human body as a tool to set up an e the equivalent of a scale. And it's literally like an old-fashioned scale. If you, you know you, where you have one thing on one side and one on the other, and you can just feel if it's off. And then you know exactly how to balance it, how to bring it back. And when it's arrived, and when you know exactly when it's arrived and balanced, that is certainty. And, uh, and it's also being all together and keeping your power. And the other thing I want to tell you is that in this place, you are balanced, and balance is freedom. Did you ever see somebody that's going like this? Whoa! <laughs> They're kind of back on their heels trying to regain their balance. So that person is one step removed from freedom, at least, because they have to first, they have to first regain their balance and then from that place of balance, they're now at the choice point and they can move and respond freely in life. But someone that practices in this way is always at the choice point. Why? Because from a place of balance, you are free to move to the front, the back, the left, the right, any direction, and in the moving to still stay all together and balanced. So this is not so much a psychological or a mental technique where you just figure something out. You think you got it figured out for one thing and it might work or it might not, but then because you figured it out that way, then it won't work for something else, you know. This is completely different because it doesn't involve any movement of the mind at all. The mind is spot on, it's fully and get uh, involved, but it's involved in watching this place of balance. And when it goes too much one way or another, you just bring it back and it, you're just comfortable and relaxed, resting in the middle all together and fully arrived. And then it becomes like a sport. The person arrives on the scene, the person that perhaps in the past might have thought they could hurt your feelings or something. And it's kind of like a bucking bronco, too, you know. You might be able to stay on for a while, but then you might get bucked off. It's no big deal. But then what you do is, wherever you are, just establish balance there. And just keep surfing. It's almost like when you're on a surfboard, you know. It's no big deal if you fall off the board. You just 
jump back on it and keep surfing life as it presents before you. And that makes all of life interesting because in the midst of a changing world, it is like a sport and it's so fulfilling. So whether you like skateboarding or like surfing and and maybe you don't have a board, <laughs> you can actually practice this in the midst of life's most boring circumstances. Like if you're standing in line, there's a way to practice, in fact, when you're standing and even when you're walking. You just select different points in the sitting bones, that's all it is. But it, it can make the most boring situation ever interesting because now you have something to do instead of just sitting there. You can practice this and it is way fun. So that's how to be balanced in the midst of a changing world and it's also how for any other consideration if you've ever wondered, well, how should I be in life? Should I stand taller? Should I tuck my chin in? What's the best way for me to be in this place at this time? What should I do? I haven't figured it out yet. Gee, I don't know what's going on. With this man, you don't figure out anything. You just practice balance. And there's such a close connection between the body, mind, and spirit that if you are comfortable and relaxed and balanced, man, you're good to go. And that's even when uh, <laughs> there would be a situation where in the past you might, uh, you might have launched yourself forward and given up your power and been at the mercy of <laughs> another person. Man, you can be all together. So if you are interested in that, I would say uh, don't try it without proper training. Uh, in fact, on my website, PrestonFlat.com. I put some disclaimers on there on how to practice and everything. So be sure to follow those. And man, would you please like and subscribe to my videos? You can see I have hardly any subscribers yet. And this is this is the time when I really need the subscribers. So I just do appreciate you. Thank you.